Oh, would you like to kick oh. us off, please? Yeah, sure. Hi, Connor. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, just to sort of, uh, you obviously had a, a debrief, I would imagine. What were the, the positives and, and can we do betters from last night? Um, to be fair, we, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've had a little chat, I suppose, after the game. There hasn't been too much time, um, so we chuckled back, obviously, already this morning. But um, I think the, the positives were, uh, you know, we tried to pass the ball a little bit better than previous party regimes. Um, a lot more patient than usual. Um, uh, listen, there were times where we probably gave it away a little bit cheaply as well. Um, the goal probably wasn't great. Um, but, uh, yeah, and obviously, then that spirit that we always have, that never said die attitude. Um, to keep going, and um, we kept uh, sticking to the the principles that this manager wants. Um, you know, keep passing the ball, even though we were one 0 down, and um, got a, a well deserved goal in the end. I think. And did you enjoy playing that way? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think all the lads enjoyed it. You know, um, you know, a, a lot of managers nowadays, you know, like to pass the ball, and a lot of us at club level go go about our business that way. Um, so yeah, it was very very enjoyable. We had a, a lot, a lot of possession, created some chances. So, um, yeah, good po- positives moving forward. Thanks very much. Connor, 60% possession last night and some chances created. Is this a performance you can build on? Yeah, we, we think so. Um, you know, uh, the, the managers come in and we've only had kind of three or four days um, to take on as much information as possible. Uh, you know, so we try to, to play the right way, the, the way that he wants to play. Um, and that's more possession-based. Um, like you said, we had... A, 60 percent possession, which is you know, which is good, um, created some good chances. Um, I think maybe if we had taken one of them earlier, it would have been a different game. So definitely, like I said earlier on, positives to take and uh, going into Sunday, um, you know, a performance to build on. Yeah, are you, are you excited by that, Connor? The fact that the, the manager wants a more expansive game, and also the fact that there are some upcoming good under 21 players who've been promoted to the senior senior team. Yeah, I think so. I think it's, um, I suppose. A, a, it's, it's been a change, I suppose, you know, in style, um, a change in direction, a, a kind of a, a new freshness with, uh, like you said, young lads coming into the squad as well. So it's a new time, new era, um, you know, new playing style as well, obviously, by the looks of the other night, which is which is great. So, yeah, very exciting time. Um, you know, obviously, hopefully results will follow when it was nice to get a result the other night. Um, you know, albeit I know a draw, but something to build on because... Overall, I felt that we, we did well. We, we passed the ball well. So it was good just for some kind of little bit of confidence and something to build on heading into Sunday. I know, obviously, a draw isn't what we want. We want more wins than draws, of course. But, um, yeah, something to take forward anyway. So, thank you. Okay, Tony. Tony Nathan, are you ready while we're waiting for Tony? Yeah, yeah. sure. Hi, Connor. Just How are you getting on? Hi, Connor. Can you hear me? Oh. Who's going first? Uh, go on. I, I, let, I, let, I let the older man go first. All right, that's you. Oh, burn. <laughs> go on, Tony. Anyway, Connor, it looked to me like you were probably playing at least three positions last night. You played in the left of the three. You looked like you tucked in a full back and you played in the centre. Like, where would you like to play ideally in this Irish side? Um, not to be totally honest with you, it, it really doesn't uh, phase me or bother me too much. You know, where, wherever the manager wants me to play, I'm absolutely happy with that. Um, you know, we had a kind of a, a style and a way of playing last night. Um, you know, passing the ball probably suits my game a little bit more, which is great. So, um, just the style in general probably suits me and, and more lads in this in this team, which is great. So, wherever the manager wants me to fit in, and that is 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 not no problem to me. But you do have to, I suppose, look, when you've got fullbacks like Matt Doherty on one side or Andy Stevens on the other who do like to get forward, you, you have to be very careful to mind the house as well, don't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. There's, um, you know, there's three of us in there and we all kind of can, you know, go, go and ho, I suppose, you know, like you said, fullbacks bomb on and uh, we got wingers who like to get in behind and, yeah, so, you know, we all can't go at once. So, of course, we need to be careful at that. Maybe we were a little bit open last night, especially for the goal, I suppose, when we gave the ball away. But listen, that's, that's lessons we're going to learn um, as we go on. So, yeah, um, that's something that we need to keep an eye on. And what did Stephen Kenny say to you after the game? Yeah, listen, he was, he was happy with um, some aspects. And, and listen, there was other places where he felt we needed to improve. Um, I think overall he was happy that we got the, the goal to get a draw because I felt overall we'd we done OK. Um, so it would have been, you know... Pretty disappointing to lose that one, but um, yeah, like I said, performance to build on. And uh, we listen, he has only had three or four days to get his ideas across, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but 
slowly but surely, surely we'll, sure we'll get there. And what did you think of the uh, the new players, particularly, let's say, Adam Eda up front, another Corkman, uh, and how did they do their reputations, no harm, uh, Aaron Connolly as well, obviously? Yeah, no, listen, the, the, the lads um, up there, Aaron, listen, Aaron, Adam, um, even Caledoda, they're, they're, they're young, they're, they're inexperienced at this level, many, many caps ahead of them, no doubt, so every cap and every performance they get, they'll only build on and learn from that, so listen, um, yeah, they did absolutely fine up there. Thanks, Connor. Nathan. Hi, Connor. Uh, you mentioned there the change in style a couple of times, and I'm sure you're aware there's been a lot of conversation around a more progressive passing, possession based style of football. Did that bring extra pressure last night that it feels as though maybe it's, it's not just about the result now? You need a result and you need to play a certain style of football. Did, did you feel there was a different expectation on you last night? Um, no, not really, because obviously, listen, we're in a results business and we all want to win and we all want to get good results first and foremost. Um, just if we have to win and win ugly at times, that, that would be absolutely fine as well. But if we, can, if we can win and play well at the same time, that's the, that's the thing everyone strives for. Um, you know, the opposition will be trying to you know, win as well. So if it, was, if it was a, you know, an easy game, we'd all be winning and we'd all be playing great every single week. So we just tried to take the manager's ideas on board, um, you know, as much as possible. He's, uh, he's given us a lot of info to take on board over the last three or four days. So, yeah, listen, we want to play well. We want to win, of course. And, um, you know, that, that's what everyone's after. Everyone, I think, that we've spoken to has mentioned the info, that there's been a lot of info. Has it almost, has it been almost too much to take in in the space of a couple of days? Could we have been expecting too much last night based off two training sessions? No, there hasn't been too much info. I thought the info has been fantastic, actually. You know, um, the gaffer and, uh, and Keith and, and Damien have been in top class um, and what they've kind of given us over the last couple of days. Um, but, uh, listen, it's going to take a little bit of time. You know, international football, it, we only get, like I said, three, four days before the first game and then all of a sudden we're into the next game and whatever. So, I'm sure over the coming months, um, you know, there'll be improvements and we'll get better. Um, but no, uh, hopefully now heading into Sunday, um, we'll get a little bit more info and um, a little bit more ideas from the manager and um, hopefully get another good performance. Could you just talk briefly about that dynamic of Stephen and Keith and Damien Duff as to how it works out in terms of like, who, who was talking at halftime and full-time and, and where Keith and Damien fit in under Stephen? No, listen, they all have their own little bits to say. Obviously, the manager's the main man. He gets, he gets the main point across and then, um, you know, Keith and, and Damien have their own ideas and, you know, they all feed off each other very, very well. It's, um, you know, it's been very refreshing and um, been very, very impressed with them all over the last few days. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it, it's all good going forward, definitely. Cheers, Thanks very much, Nate. We're going to go to Damien now, please. Hi, Connor. Hi, yeah. Okay. Um, Connor, how, in, how uh, good was it to have James McCarthy back in the Ireland team and how does his presence affect the way you and Jeff can play? Yeah, it, it was, it's great to have um, you know, as many good players as you can in the squad and James is definitely one of them. Um, you know, he's been unfortunate over the years but with injuries. Um, since I've come into the squad, we haven't really played together at all. So, great to have him out onto the pitch. Like you said, you try and get your best players out there and he's, a, he's definitely one of them. So, yeah, it was great to have him kind of you know, anchoring that meal, midfield behind us, definitely. And, and, and how does that affect the way you and Jeff can then, then press on? Does it give you the more scope to be able to do that? Yeah, listen, there's um, myself and Jeff are obviously in there trying to press ahead and James and all the lads at the back, you know, Matt Doherty's, Andy Stevens, John Egan, Shane Duffy, even Darren Randolph, they're all hugely experienced, very good players in their own right, doing fantastically well at their club. So um, not just James, you know, the fight behind James as well gives you that, gives you that kind of, you know, that confidence to move forward because, yeah, you know, they're all very good defenders in their own right and doing very well at the minute in their own clubs. Thank you. Thomas. Hi, Connor. Is playing in front of new fans now something that's pretty much normal, taking into consideration we're playing in the Viva Stadium this weekend and there's nobody going to be there? Yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, it's, um, it is becoming the new normal, which is unfortunate the, the way life is at the minute. Um, you know, I suppose when we, when we had a club level and we, we had the restart, it was, it was strange. But now it's, it's not becoming so strange anymore. But, um, you know, hopefully in the near future that may ch change slowly, slowly but surely because... As everyone knows, they are, everyone wants to kind of the atmosphere back and the fans back and that passion back. So, um, yeah, hopefully that changes in the near future. And is it something that the players have talked about, particularly playing the Aviva Stadium this weekend? 
Yeah, it's obviously going to be a great shame, um, you know, that it's going to be empty. And, you know, for the manager, he, he would have loved the full house and the atmosphere would have, would have, you know, give us that extra kind of step in the, you know, that kind of 12th man to hopefully get that good result. But listen, it, it is what it is at the minute. So we have to create our own atmosphere on Sunday, create our own energy. And um, we know everyone at home is going to be behind us, pushing us forward. forward so. Yeah, we, yeah, we um, um, you know, like I said, it's the new normal at the minute. So we have to just get over that. Thanks, Connor. Thanks, Thomas. And just to wrap up this live section, uh, Gavin Cooney, please. Hiya, Connor. Uh, you mentioned there the information that Stephen has been getting across to you. What specifically has he been telling you? Um, everyone's had to, listen. Everyone's had their own info, I suppose. For myself, it's um, you know trying to get on the ball. The midfielders who wants to get on the ball as much as possible, uh, play forward and feed others ahead of us. As simple as that, really. Like I go on to, uh, he's been. Um, you know, that more passing style, that more, a little bit more patient in his style. So, yeah, it's about, um, you know, getting on the ball as much as possible um, at the right times in the right areas and trying to play forward into the forward lads that are, that hopefully will cause some trouble. Mm. And just my final question is, it's been such a, a big change in style and approach in such a relatively short space of time. Have you found anything particularly challenging in the last few days? No, not really. It's been very, very easy uh, ch change, really, and a very, very easy transition. Um, you know, like you said before, uh, the manager's come in and got his points across really, really well. Um, we've been very impressed with what he's what he's had to say and what he's the boys had to, to give across to us. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very enjoyable to be here. And um, hopefully, on Sunday, we can get that win that we all want. Really. Thanks, million. Thanks very much. So, every Hi, Connor. Um, you mentioned just at the top there about you know trying to pass the ball a bit more and a bit better than you had. Uh, was that something the players felt within themselves that there was the, the potential to do that within the squad, the players you had to use the ball a bit better? Yeah, I think so. I think um, the quality in the squads, um, how should I say, probably isn't appreciated enough. You know, if you look at that team last night, I think probably everyone bar maybe Callow Dyla hasn't played in the Premier League, you know, the best league in the world. So, um, you know, there is quality in the squad without a doubt. I think this manager believes that there is quality in the squad. So, um, yeah, I think he, he probably feels like the best way forward for us is to pass the ball um, because a lot of us do it at a club level. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been brilliant so far and hopefully we can, um, you know, take that into the games um, coming up. And obviously it does take more than two training sessions to sort of get to where you want to, but because you, you play in that manner at club level, it's not... It's not new to you, really, is it? It's just a matter of um, sort of getting the working parts running together for Ireland. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's been a short space of time, like we've, I've touched on before. But uh, for me personally, it's it's been quite an easy transition because that's the formation I play at my club level. But I know one or two lads play that uh, that style and that kind of formation as well. Other lads don't. Other lads play in a five, as we as we all know. So everyone's different. Everyone's going to take a little bit of time in the run right to, to get used to it. So. Um, yeah, so you know, as as much as we're together, you know, during this, this this kind of break and the next break, more and more info will be coming in. More and more people will be getting to know exactly what the manager wants. So, um, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later, we get that result that we all want. That win. Um, you know, get into everyone to to move forward and um, look forward to the time ahead. And just sorry, the last one that there are so many games in a consent condensed period of time. Maybe that. I suppose transition or evolution will happen more quickly than it might do otherwise when, you know, previously they've been really spaced out. Yeah, yeah. Listen, sooner rather than later, of course, I think over the last three or four days and heading in, and when we played last night, people can see already a little bit what we're about and what we're doing. So, um, you know, the more time we're together, the more games we play, um, the more that will become the new, like, you know, the normal for us. So, um, and we'll have to do you know, exactly what the manager wants. We'll have to improve. We all want to improve. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure heading in the right direction. Thank you. Thanks very, thanks very much, Neil. Uh, Philip Quinn is next. Right, let me leave it there. Um, yeah, my question to Connor here is, uh, Connor, their goal, um, did you chide yourself afterwards for that misplaced pass? And what were you thinking at the time? Yeah, yeah, afterwards in the dressing room, I was disappointed with myself because, um, yeah, I felt like it was a sloppy pass, kind of a a needless pass from myself, I suppose. Uh, you know, we've spoken about it. I had my hand up in the dressing room, I think, after. I think so did um, a couple of the defenders. So, um, yeah, I think, um, you know, 
sloppy one for myself. And then I suppose later on in the move, when um, after I gave the ball away, um, I think lad, you know Shane and, and John themselves probably felt disappointed after as well with what happened after that. So I think it was a bit of a mixed bag from everyone really. Um, yeah, fair play to you for acknowledging that because sometimes footballers don't. But I think you have to learn at all levels from mistakes. Makes you a better player. Um, just on the subject of competition in midfield, um, with yourself and Jeff and, and James last night, you've got Robbie Brady's pushing to come back. You've got Jason Malumby on the wings. Harry Hart has come back in the squad. Uh, do you see this as a challenge for you personally to stay, not just in the squad, in the team? There's going to be real competition for places going forward. Yeah, I think there's I think there's huge competition for places all over the pitch, to be honest with you. I think, um, you know, in the attacking areas as well, you know, we've got strikers now, we have wingers. Uh, well, it's not going to be easy. Um, you know, sometimes when there's competition for places like that, I guess the, it brings the best out in you. Um, you know, so hopefully for myself moving forward, that will be the case. And um, yeah, I'm always up for the challenge. So um, uh, let's go for it, really. Thank you. Hey, Connor, how are things? Yeah. Um, Connor, you, like you mentioned at the start there of uh, the, the embargoed section about how you, sometimes people don't appreciate that there is quality in the squad. Yeah. I mean, is that something that bugs you when you hear this line that we don't have the players? And is it refreshing that it does appear like the manager now is more of the view that we do have the players? I think so, yeah. I think um, it, it is refreshing to hear that. I think he definitely believes in us and I think he definitely believes that there is uh, quality in this squad. Like I said, if you go through the team last night, you know, um, Bar Callum, I think I said before, uh, we're all pretty much playing in the Premier League. You know, you look at the bench last night, you said you've Shane Long, James Coleman, you know, Callum Robinson, Robbie Brady, all Premier League footballers, you know. So there is quality in the squad. Yes, may, we may be missing kind of that Gareth Bale for Wales, let's say, at the top, top level, but there is some very, very good footballers here throughout the squad. So I think that quality quality is being recognised by this manager. Um, and I think that's that's why he's going about the style that he wants to go about because he believes in us that we can pass the football and that's always great to hear. Just just one last one for me. You, you mentioned you're familiar maybe with the, the midfield structure from your club. Like the latter half of the game when James went off, you were more in the sort of deeper position. Like, I don't know, in which you enjoy more, but you equally comfortable in, in, in the various roles within that. Yeah, like I've said previously, I've, I've no problem playing... Um, uh, anywhere in the midfield or, or anywhere other than that as well. You know, um, I've played six and eight for, for my club. Um, so I'll be comfortable playing in both of them positions. Um, yeah, so wherever the manager, wa manager wants me to play moving forward, I've no problem with that. Thanks very much. Mark McCadden and then Paul O'Hare and, and then we'll wrap it up, please. Hi. Um, for, for all the talk of, of new uh, or changing styles and so on, I mean, the goal last night came from a set piece and another brilliant Shane Duffy header. From your point of view, as someone who's big on set pieces, um, is, that, uh, is it nice that, or do you see that as been a big kind of thing to, to follow on through? And um, will you be, will you, I suppose, will you be kind of a key player in that regard? Yeah, listen. Um, we we are we're always a threat from set pieces, I suppose. And um, you know, big lads inside there like Shane, obviously scoring last night. He always pops up with a goal. Um, I think we've always been a threat from set pieces over the years. So that's something kind of in our DNA. Um, you know, I think we could have scored from open play a couple of times last night as well. So I think now we've got maybe a threat from open play and set plays, which is always a great thing to have. Um, maybe previously we've kind of relied on set plays a little bit too much, but I think with this style of play. Um, you know, we'll create a little bit more chances. The manager wants more kind of lads in, in attacking areas. So um, it's great. That, yeah, it's great, of course, that we scored from a set play because you know, it was so late on and we would have taken the goal anyway. But um, I think, um, you know, we, we created chances from open play as well, which is pleasing. And just, I mean, Shane, is he one of the best in the business in, in that regard? Uh, yeah, listen, Shane is a fantastic header of the ball in, in, in both boxes. You know, he's come up with some important goals for for Ireland so far and he'll get many, many more as well. So, yeah, he's, he's a fantastic header of the ball, yeah, without a doubt. Cheers. Thanks very much, Mark. And the last question, or a couple of questions from Paulo here, please. Yeah, just the one call. Um, how you doing, Connor? Um, I'm just wondering, just in terms of, there's a lot of focus on this team now, new manager, a couple of new players in, and just the whole notion of evolution and revolution and what have you. Um, can that be a burden on the team as well? Because as much as you want to go out and play and express yourselves, you're building up to this playoff against Slovakia and 
everybody is expecting this team to suddenly be radically different and, and transform. Can can that be a bit of a burden? Um, no, not really. uh, you know, experience enough and, you know, we're all playing over in England and there's always kind of pressure on us um, in, in all our clubs in a certain way. So, um, yeah, and listen, the, the Irish football team, soccer team, um, you know, there's always, you know, it's a kind of, you know, it's massive in Ireland. We know, we know that. We're all well aware of that. No matter, you know, previous regimes or this regime, there's always been pressure on us. So uh, I think maybe this might stick out a little bit more because it's, it's a completely different style of play and that we're going in a different direction. So maybe that's kind of, you know, kind of standing us out a little bit as well. But no, I think we'll all take it in our stride. I think over the last three or four days, like you said, the managers come in and, um, you know, we've gone a different way about our business. And I think last night we showed that we're capable of, 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 going that way and um, yeah we're all enjoying it and taking it our stride like I said really and, and just finally just, just just on the club front this season what are your hopes and expectations not much of a break since the end of last season but new season around the corner for you what are you, what are you hoping for yeah just yeah, more improved last year we were going to be fighting that relegation battle like we were previously um you know, we're, Aston Villa is a big, big football club and we were, you know, delighted and relieved to stay up. But I think as a club now, we need to move forward and, and build on that and uh, not be in around that kind of relegation zone like we were for the majority of last season.